All right, Gio. Second place. You got close. He gapped you at the end. What are you, what are your thoughts? Give regrets? Is it? Are you proud of yourself for taking that step and, and finishing second on the podium? Where are you at right now? Yeah, very proud. Um, you know, I want to watch the race and, and play. I played it over my head a few times. What I could do differently? I don't. I, I thought the car was incredible. Uh, I wouldn't make any changes. We have a car to win this race, and we've had a car to win this race since July. I feel like so. Sunday was kind of the the breaking point. I feel like we were really really good on Sunday. Went forward a couple spots, and then starting fifth, falling back to seventh, and, and getting a third there at the break, which is which is huge. And I have to deal with those other cars and be able to worry about leading the trying to lead the race and get to the lead. So uh, no regrets. Definitely, I feel like I ran as hard as I possibly could. And um, you know, John Daly said you don't go to the golf course to to get better. You go to get loose. So we were as as good as we were going to be this morning, and I feel like we had a great performance today. Do you feel like your nationals program? I took a step today with how you ran, where you finished. Obviously, it's very results based, but do you feel like you guys took another step to get closer and closer to the 57? I think so. I, I've never been in contention to win this race, even starting on the pole back in 2021. So last year was a big step forward to be able to go ninth to fourth and uh, contend for a podium. Obviously, way different racetrack last year, like Kyle said. And this was, to me, a typical Knoxville Nationals track big curb, slick in the middle, and a very narrow bottom. So great job on the racetrack you know they tilled the top and it still still built a pretty big curb so this place is fun to race at man it's very technical the middle kind of played a factor there and off two you could kind of drift up and catch that grip so just made a few too many mistakes i don't know if they're really mistakes it just uh got out of my groove and out of my line i feel like i made 10 laps there that were probably really really good there about halfway through um before the break and right after the break i was rolling and um faded mentally a bit maybe a little bit physically and um, just stuff i gotta work out for next year what do you think about kyle larson Oh, he's the greatest driver. Like I said, greatest driver we've ever seen in the world, in my opinion. He can drive, uh, you know, a shoebox to a win of something. So um, great to be able to get to him. I've been able to beat him, you know, a handful of times in the past. He beats me way more than I beat him. But uh, to be able to contend with that car is, is very encouraging.